Dallas Police Chief Eddie Garcia says that he has given it his all for as long as he could do it, and he's hoping Dallas is simply going to understand. I sat down with the chief earlier this afternoon. We talked about his decision to leave after a long and successful career in law enforcement to take that assistant city manager job we've talked about down in Austin. When I asked him why, he says for him it's pretty simple. After three decades devoting his life to being a cop, most recently, of course, the chief in Dallas, He's ready for something a little less stressful and a little more balance in his life. June 3rd, we sat in this same room, and that day you told me, fresh off the heels of your fresh deal from the city, that that would be your last deal that you would uh, do as a police chief. But you also didn't tell me that day that you'd leave a few short months later for Austin. Uh, did you know that day, June 3rd, that something was in the works already? To no, yourself? no, not at all, not at all. Uh, you know, um, as months went by, you know, obviously the, you know, as I've said, there's no balance, there's no balance in this job, right? Your men and women in your community come first, you come second. Um, you know, started thinking about, uh, you know, thinking about how much longer, um, I was, I was going to be able to do this for, and meaning like there's, there's, I don't know any other way to do it than it's a sprint. Right. You sprint until you can't sprint anymore. And I tell people all the time, you know, don't chase the four stars if you are not prepared to truly put your life second because I'm not trying to make this sound, uh, you, know, you, know, uh, you know, outlandish, but that's the reality of it. And, uh, you know, my kids are young adults now and um, they're going to start families of their own at some point. And I really wanted to try some balance. So I thought about the balance thing. And then I thought about, you know, I've always said, you know, it's better to leave this party early than leave this party late. Mm -hmm. And then I said, you know, where is the department now? Is it in a good place? Is it solid? Is it at least moving in the right direction? And I'm like, well, if, if all those things were in place, I didn't want to hand the keys to a broken department to the next leader. Um, and, you know, and I, and I get that we're not a perfect department and there's a lot of things that we have to do better, but I don't think we could say that we're not moving in the right direction from a perspective of public safety in the city of Dallas. Mm -hmm. And, you know, all those things combined, um, you know, made me say that, you know, and it's not an easy decision. Um, you know, I remember going, I spoke to a retiree banquet a few weeks back or last month where I told them all and I go, I envy all you. I envy all you because you all knew in your mind there was one day you woke up and you're like, I think I'm. I think I'm ready to hang up the uniform, and and I don't know how. I don't know if people understand um, how big of a deal that is to us. Um, you know, we like to say we shouldn't just identify ourselves as police officers, but we do. Um, I've been a police officer uh, since I was 21 years old, uh, and it would have been 33 years in February. So it is not easy um, at all. Um, but you look in the mirror, uh, and you say to yourself, "Did you give it your all for as long as you could?" And I said to myself, yes. Um, and so uh, that, based on the fact that I wanted more balance uh, for me personally and, and my kids, that I want to be a huge part of their lives, and when they have families, um, that's why I made my decision. Yeah. Uh, I don't think anybody begrudges anyone moving forward in their life in, in such a great way. Can you understand maybe some of the frustration from some in the city based on the timing of it. You know, they go out of their way, they, they put this fresh new deal together for you, obviously, hoping, hoping that the wonderful direction that you've taken the department, the buy-in from the rank and file, you know, they're seeing good things happen and all of a sudden it vanishes, you know, just a few short months later. And some people are frustrated by that. You know that. Oh, I, and I don't begrudge them for it. I, I get it. I, I, I get I get why they're frustrated. I get the, 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 you know, what happened during the summer with regards to that. You know, but that was be, for being a police chief. Um, you know, and I'll say this, I told you then, but I'll tell you now, and I've told my rank, I, I'm not going to be a police chief. I'm, I'm done. My law enforcement career is over, and I'm proud that my last badge, if I ever got a shadow box, the last badge on there is going to be the Dallas Police Department. Uh, but I certainly understand the frustration, but I also understand that comes from a place of love, too, because you know what? You know as well as I do that there have been times that there's a lot of people that wouldn't be upset at all if, uh, if I was leaving sure. or if the chief was leaving. Sure. Uh, and, so, and so I also put it in that place as well. 
um, you know, during National Night Out, uh, which was amazing. Uh, I got a lot of that from the community. At the same time, I can't believe you're leaving and mad at you, but then the hug and yeah, thank, yeah, it's, thank you. It's, it's, the, you're, it, it's the, I'm frustrated that you're leaving mad. Right? Yes. It's that. And so, that. yeah, I mean, again, I mean, there's probably some people that are happy that I'm leaving, but I know the vast majority of the, the contacts that I've made, um, you know, I get the frustration. There's no, there's no question. Every, I go to a community meeting or I sat on a panel, I think I'll get five or six I'm mad at yous and maybe one congratulations, right? Yeah. But I know where that comes from, right? And I mean, that's a gift one way or the other, but I completely understand the frustration. Um, but again, like if I was going somewhere else to be a police chief or something, I could understand actually some anger in yeah. some way, right? But I think once people take a step back, and I think particularly law, law, you know, police officers understand, but others to understand that making a decision to end a law enforcement career is more than just that. Um, and so I hope uh, people will recognize that, uh, respect me for that. And you know, understand that we left the department. That I left the department in a position where the next chief could continue to do great things uh, with the department, um, and and understand the, the the reasons. Yeah. One question about the next chief of this department: You don't get to make that decision. Uh, but last time we sat in this room back in June, you told me that you felt that there were people in this department who could fill the position that you're about to vacate. You still feel the same way? I feel the same way. Uh, you know. <sighs> If we believe we're in our fourth year of violent crime reduction, if we believe morale of the department is higher, which I believe it is, if we believe that community relationships with the department and trust in the department at that true level of, of trust in, in, in police officers is better, if we believe violent crime is better, if we believe morale is better, if we community feel that community relationships are better, um, there's a reason for that. And it isn't because of me. It's because of the men and women that are within these walls. Um, and so I guess if the department wasn't going in the right direction, then by all means, look everywhere you can. Right. But if the department's going in the right direction, why look anywhere else other than within these walls? Um, and that's what I told you then, and that's what I would continue to tell you now. Yeah. You're not the first ever chief of PD to wander into a city manager position, right? Or in this case, assistant city manager. Uh, Hafner did it in Keller, Steve Dye in Grand Prairie. Uh, at the end of the day, though, you're going to be the assistant city manager in Austin. I'm looking you dead in the eye thinking, this is not an assistant kind of guy, right? <laughs> what's, what's the end game? Where do you want to end up? Oh, you know, I don't know what the next chapter will say. I mean, honest, I'm not going to lie to you and tell you that I, it's not, it, 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 it'll be refreshing to not, uh, don't get me wrong. Uh, and, and one thing I will say, and I've told you all, you, uh, you all have been so fair to me in this department in the last nearly four years. but. I won't necessarily be having to do these, uh, and uh, you know. So being, being an assistant might take a little bit of pressure out. Of well, the yeah, being an assistant might take a little pressure out. I mean, it, I'll put pressure on myself, just knowing what my expectations are of myself. But you know, again, working for you know, working for John and for TC, like again, that's something for me that I want to learn in this new role. Right. You know, I want to listen. I, I wasn't good when I retired from law enforcement, but I'm far too young to stop working. And, you know, to me, the challenge, I look forward to the challenge, right? And when you look at this challenge and I can bring in, you know, nearly 33 years of public safety experience to, to mentor and coach and facilitate and help the other seven directors that I will have, uh, work, that I'll be working with, is something that I'm looking forward to. Uh, and so the end game is really just to keep learning. Yeah. Um, I'm doing something else. Uh, you know, it got to the point, you know, after nearly 30 years in law enforcement, let me take this and leverage what I've learned in nearly 33 years and how can I help as I teach myself another, another area of leadership or management. Um, and so, you know, again, who knows where the, the game will end, but the law enforcement end game ended with the Dallas Police Department. Understand, good. Last question. What do you want the rank and file here at DPD and, and the community at large in Dallas to remember most when they remember you? Uh, you know, I had a really, uh, was, Honored to be able to do a podcast with uh, ATO Bridge and the Divide where I gave a long message to the rank and file, but for the community, I just, um, you know, I want them to remember me as someone who was present, um, you know, as well, regardless of the community meeting that I was at, whether they were saying we were doing a great job or wherever they were yelling at me, I always told them that's a precious gift. It's a gift that the community comes in and feels that they can talk to their chief and have these conversations. I thought that was a gift. You know, this is a, you know, I've said it before, it's a day and night grind. 
Um, it is working constantly. You're putting yourself second, and I loved doing it, or else I wouldn't have done it at all. But that this city, the community, and my officers were worth every bit of the sacrifice.